Hello, this is Kelly Kelso here to give you a quick overview of where you can find some resources to help you as you create your screencast of your digital portfolio to turn in uh, to Mr. Spurlock. First of all, you'll notice that I am on the CISD webpage here, and if you mouse over departments and you go down to instructional technology, this will take you to my page with me and my coaches. At the very bottom on the left hand side you'll notice here it says teacher digital portfolios and if I click on that link it is going to take me to a page where we have listed out several different resources for you. First of all um, I want you to understand that if you need any help at all that I am available uh, just email me and let me know. If there's a time you want to stay after school there is a Google form here that you can fill out and I will be more than happy to help you with um, what you need during that after school session. Also notice that all portfolios need to be completed by April the 8th, so your screencast will need to be completed and submitted to Mr. Spurlock by that time. April 15th is the early release day, and if for some reason you are not able to fulfill all the pieces of the rubric, then uh, you will be able to stay with me that afternoon, and we will work through those pieces that you need to complete to have that digital portfolio completed. You'll notice that there are some steps that I've included here on how to complete your portfolio. First and foremost, make sure you look at the rubric. The rubric will tell you exactly what you need to cover uh, in your screencast and uh, the different artifacts you need to have in there. Prior to recording, it's going to be um, really nice for you to go in first and locate those artifacts for each component of that rubric. And notice it says here, open a new tab in your browser for each artifact. If you will do that, um, it will make it much quicker and easier for you to go through and do your recording. Next, you want to plan what you want to say on each tab prior to recording so that it'll go very smoothly for you. I have provided a sample script here, um, and so if you go to 5th through 12th, you'll notice that there is a sample script. When I open that up, basically it is just a fill in the blank, and it's going to give you some ideas of things that you can say on that video. You'll notice that I have some blanks that you can fill in and that bolded at the top of each box uh, this corresponds directly with the rubric so you're just going very quickly through the rubric. You'll also notice that within the brackets down here at the end I've given you the options that are listed within that rubric of how you might have fulfilled that particular piece. So again this will be your script uh, this will not be shown on the video, it'll just be what you say as you move through the different pieces of your um, rubric. Now, the next thing is you want to do a quick run through. So once you have everything, you want to do a quick run through, make sure that you are ready to record. So in preparing, open those tabs, get yourself a script. You do not have to use my script. This is only there if you think you need that assistance. Okay. Next you're going to make your screencast. Notice you can use either Screencast-O-Matic or Smart Notebook Recorder uh, to do that. The video should not be more than three minutes long. Guys, this is going to be short, quick, sweet, to the point you're showing that you have fulfilled each piece of the rubric. Okay. It will only highlight the items that you have completed for the rubric. Last, I have put in a video on how to attach your video to a campus discussion. Mr. Spurlock will be putting a discussion out in our um, IMMS uh, Digital PLC Canvas course, and you will just attach your video there. The great thing about this is that all teachers will have access to everybody else's video and you'll be able to go in and look and see what other teachers are doing in Canvas and hopefully get some great ideas with that. You will do a peer review on two different uh, teachers uh, through that discussion and you will grade them according to the rubric and uh, letting Mr. Spurlock know if those teachers um, have fulfilled the rubric um, or not. And from there then he will uh, decide who has fulfilled the rubrics based on their screencast. All right, and then I want you to notice that I also have put some sample, uh, a sample screencast. Of course, this one is for elementary, so don't worry about that. Um, but if you scroll down, there is a secondary sample video. 
Um, and then there also are some how-to videos. And so here's how to use Screencast-O-Matic, and here's how to use Smart Recorder if you've never used those before. But also remember that I am available to help you and will be more than willing to get with you at a time that's good for you. Or you can sign up on the Google form here and you can come after school and I will help you there. Thank you so much. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me.